morning, mothers in Zion. I, you can see my glasses are broke. I had a really wonderful time last night. <laughs> I broke my glasses. This is me and Pastor Bob. We look a little rough. We prayed all night long. We had a wonderful time. Jesus moved in such a powerful way here in Tulsa. And we're headed to Mino, Oklahoma today to uh, do another night, another prayer night uh, here in Oklahoma before we head home. God has just been so good in the last, uh, we've been going, I guess this is our fourth week. Was this our fourth week? And um, we're just so happy to be able to pray with you every morning and just watch what God's doing. I, I love meeting you on the road. I love hearing your testimonies. I love seeing you. You're such a blessing. I just declare the blessing of the Lord. I'm sorry I look so bad today. I didn't put any makeup on. We're just a little tired because we, we've just been going nonstop. But um, I want you to know that I love you with all of my heart and that Jesus loves you and you're making a huge difference. You're making a huge difference in your family. You're making a huge difference in your, um, in your city. You're making a huge difference in America. And I am humbled and honored to be able to pray with you every morning. It is my greatest pleasure to pray with you. And it's my greatest pleasure to spend time with my Jesus every morning. What an opportunity we have. We can change the world. We can, we can pray in his righteousness and his holiness. And we can see our world transformed by just committing to praying on a daily basis. And so, Lord, I just thank you for the opportunity to pray today. I can't imagine my life without you. I can't imagine my life without spending time in your presence. I can't imagine my life without your direction and your encouragement and your forgiveness and your wisdom. You are everything to, to me and Bob today. You are everything to all of these women that are praying with me this morning. You are our life. You are our strength. You are you what you are what sustains us and strengthens us and gives us wisdom. We adore you, Jesus. We thank you for everything. We thank you for loving us. We thank you, Lord. You want to help me, Bob? Hold this a minute. You hold that a second. Yeah. There we go. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for moving in our lives. We thank you for the power of prayer that is igniting across America. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to serve you and to spend time in your presence. I just, uh, as we as we touch down in uh, Tulsa, and this is this is the word I heard for Oklahoma that the uh, this is what I heard that the the prayer wells the the prayer wells that had been dug by men and women of God for, for over a hundred years, that God was uncapping those wells and they were going to begin to flow with the oil of the Holy Spirit. The, those prayer wells were going to begin to flow in a just powerful way across this state and across this nation. And then I also heard the Lord say that even, even the oil, the actual oil wells, that they would fill back up and that they would just begin to flow again. God is in the business of of healing and restoring America. And, um, I, you know, I don't know what the next few months holds for us. I don't know. We, it may get worse before it gets better. But I do know what the Lord said. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, he said, I will hear from heaven and, and, and turn from their wicked ways. He said, I will heal, hear from heaven. And he said, I will heal their land heal their land. And so I'm standing on that scripture. God did it for Nineveh with a prophet that couldn't stand him. And if God will do it for Nineveh, I believe God will do it for the United States of America. And I thank you, Lord, for the greatest revival we've ever seen from the north, the south, the east, and west. I thank you, God, that you're moving on these women today. God, that you're speaking to them, that they're hearing your voice, that you're giving them kingdom strategies, that you're moving on their behalf. I thank you, God, you're healing their bodies. I thank you, God, that, you're, that their loved ones that are not saved are coming in from the north, south, east, and west all over the United States of America. Now, I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to let my husband share a little bit so he can give you what he had, and then we'll pray a little more. Well, we don't have the communion emblems this morning, but you can still take yours. It's always good to start a uh, prayer with cleansing your soul of anything, just repent of everything, and take the 
the body and the blood of Jesus this morning and remember the price that was paid so that you could be clean, so you could be healed, so you could be forgiven, so you could walk in peace and have a clear conscience so that you can pray with a clear conscience. Yes. Hard to get answers to prayer when you, your conscience doesn't feel clear. So we just, we give up. We thank you, Father, that your blood washes and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Yes. We repent and turn from all those things that dishonor, displease you. Yes. Forgive us, number one, for not believing in you and trusting you. Yes. You are a good God. Yes. You love your children. You provide them for everything we need. And we trust you, Lord. Help us not to rebel against you or disobey you, but walk in obedience to you because we love you. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for that, first of all. We get that straight. So we thank you for your blood yes. and your body today. Yes. Just go ahead and take it if you have it. Yes. And just remember what Jesus did. Yes. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the weapons of your warfare this morning. If your arm gets tired, I'll hold it with one hand. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> We're helping each other. I'm being yeah. the stand for him, and he's being the stand for me. But, um... There. That was First Corinthians 13. Ephesians 6 and Second Corinthians 10. But I was thinking, uh, I mean, my wife actually mentioned it this morning, Callie, and it brought it to my mind. But, you know, the, the, the world right now is trying to accomplish what it wants by the world's methods, which is force, anger, and division, strife, getting, getting its way through uh, manipulation and pushing its way in. And... Uh, trying to knock everybody else down, but that's not God's way. No. So he says, and Paul says in Ephesians, uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 4, for though we live in this world, we don't wage war as the world does. But the weapons that we fight with, they're not the weapons of the flesh, the carnal, the worldly weapons. We're not depending on our physical strength, our mental ability. No. We're depending on the power of God, the strength of God, and standing for the truth. So, it says, the weapons of this world are not ours, but on the contrary, we have divine power to demolish strongholds. Yes. What are, and what are strongholds? They're, they're uh, imaginations and thoughts and pretentious thoughts that set themselves up against the knowledge and the truth of God. And it says, we take those thoughts captive. Yes. And we, uh, we wrestle them down to the obedience of Christ. Yes. And that's what we're fighting against. We're yes. fighting against spiritual darkness and wickedness in high places. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6. Let me go to that real quick. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, or his mighty power. Uh, it's be strong in the Lord, not in our own strength. And it's his might and his power. That's how we're strong. And we put on the full armor of God so that we can stand against the devil's schemes. Yes. For we don't struggle against flesh and blood. So, yes. you know, it's not people. It's not our enemy. It's the, it's the enemy working behind those people. That's when we target our prayers. We have to be good uh, fighters. We, we hit the right target. We don't hit the people. We hit the, 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 mons, right. the, the, the demons and the influences behind the people, giving them these ideologies that are not correct. So we, we cast down these ideologies and we, we fight against the root cause of the problem, which was the, we lay the ax to the root of the problem, which is demonic influence and struggles behind the scenes. So we're, we take our stand against the devil's schemes for our struggles, not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against authorities, against powers of this darkness and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, we put on the full armor of God, which... The whole full armor of God there, I'm not going to go into it, but it's all what we believe about the truth, uh, about our righteousness with God, our right standing with Him, and righteous living. It's about the, the gospel of truth. We, we, surround, we put it as a belt, and we walk with our feet, the gospel of peace, the good news between God has made peace between God and man through Jesus Christ. It's all the sword of the Spirit, the word of God. All these things are, are, are not physical weapons. They're truths that we believe, and we take those truths and we fight with those truths. Amen. So when we pray, we pray against these spiritual forces of darkness in the, in the high places, and the, it's influencing men's minds and hearts. You know, it talks about that in the Bible and in Ephesians as well, that we were once walking in this world influenced by the darkness of this world, held captive by that. But then the, the light of the revelation of Jesus Christ came in and, and broke us yes. free from the darkness. Yes. So we can agree with what God is doing, and we can ask God to send his angels to break people free yes. from the darkness. We can ask God to send his angels as well 
and we can come against those uh, uh, the demonic influences over regions of, of areas, of, yes. over people's hearts and minds, and we can speak the truth, and we can vote. Yes. So yes. just pray in the name of Jesus today. Yes. Lord, Lord, we demolish strongholds with the weapons you give us. Yes. In prayer, we thank you, yes. Lord, that every demonic stronghold, every that's built itself up against the knowledge of God, that says force is the way to change things, that says... Uh, it's okay to do dark works to get their way and get their way. No, but Lord, yes. your way is the way of love. Yes. Your way is the way of mercy. Yes. yes. Your way is the way of standing for truth. Yes. Lord, we stand for truth today. The truth is that you yes. did create everyone. Yes. And everyone is you desire as your child to yes. become to you. And we are agents of reconciliation So for the whole world. Yes. It's not about one particular race. It's about the whole humankind. Yes. You love them all. You died for the whole yes. world, Lord Jesus. Uh, the yes. true reality is it's not even about one particular government system over another. It's about the kingdom of God and yes. his government system. Yes. Yes. Righteousness needs to be exalted. Sin needs to be cast down. Yes. Lord, anything that, that takes yes. oh, that murders is not okay. Yes. Any way of murdering, whether it be little children or whether it be an adult, crime is not okay. Lord Jesus, we just declare yes. sin is not okay. Yes. We just declare righteousness is the only thing yes. we accept. We yes. pray for righteousness to be prevailing in, in the law system yes. and that the governors and the leaders, the mayors, the council people would stand for righteousness, yes, that they would Lord. stand against darkness. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you would move behind the scenes yes. and remove those influences from their lives. And Lord, we pray that they would not be able to function yes. influenced by the demonic strongholds. We pray, God, that you would cut them off from yes. those functions. Yes. We pray those that would continue on yes. resisting your Holy Spirit Lord, that they would be removed from the office and you yes. would put in righteous men and women that will, godly men that will stand for truth and that will stand for righteousness, Lord, in our nation. We thank you that our weapons are not based on yes. our own abilities, but based in the power of Jesus Christ and the, and the cross and the blood of Jesus. We just declare in the blood of Jesus over our families, over our, yes. our leaders, over our pastors, yes. over our churches we just declare the blood of jesus protects yes. and washes us yes. cleanses us gives yes. us the power to resist the devil you know james 4 7 or 4 10 i'm not sure where it was but the fourth chapter james says god resists the proud but he gives grace to the humble yes, he says so uh, submit yourself to god and then you can resist the devil yes. so it's a matter of authority if we're not under god's authority and we're resisting god we cannot resist the devil so, Father, we just ask that you keep us humble. Yes, Lord. Help us obedient. Yes. Submissive to your will. Yes, Lord. And, Lord, we can resist the devil. In every area of our life that's not in line with you, we repent and we get it turned around and, and we follow you, Lord. And we get under your authority by getting in line with your word. Yes. And then we can speak against these uh, these lies of the enemy and break the whole darkness over, over this nation. In we thank Jesus you, Lord, that your desire... That every man be saved. Your, yes. your desire that this nation be one nation under God, like yes. like our uh, money says. Well, we just pray that yes. we are under you because you have blessed this nation. Yes. We just yes. declare that you have a purpose in this yes. nation and it's not been thwarted. The enemy can't stop it as long as we continue to believe and trust and rely yes. on you and submit to your will. We give you praise, Lord, and we thank you for the outcome is in your hands. We give you praise. I uh, I heard while Pastor Bob was praying and by the way, everything you prayed was just so powerful and so on point. But I heard the Lord say that he's not going to only unstop the wells in Tulsa, but he's going to unstop the prayer wells across this nation, all over this nation. Yes, Jesus. Yeah. And men and women of God are going to begin to pray like never before. There's going to be such a hunger in this nation to pray. That is where everything is. Everything, every source of your life, every source of your strength, all the wisdom, all the power, all the anointing, all the resources, all the strategies from heaven, all the word from the Lord, everything comes in prayer. That's why the devil fights us so much to keep yes. us out of the prayer room and to keep us out of our intimacy with the Lord. And Lord, I just thank you that nothing will 
will sideswipe us or stop us from our mandate to pray on a daily basis. God, we're going to pray morning, noon, and night. We're going to pray in the early morning hours. We're going to pray at noon. We're going to pray at night. We're going to pray until Christ is formed in us. We're going to pray until this land is literally shaking with the power of God. Signs, wonders, and miracles become the normal yes, in yes. our churches, in our homes, in our city streets. We're going to pray till till uh, America is literally the glory of the Lord has descended on America and across the world. Yes. We will not let go of the horns of the altar yes. until we see this third great awakening in full bloom. It's already started, but I just declare it's coming into full swing. I declare that, that churches, I, I saw rural churches, smaller churches, churches 400 and less exploding across this nation. Churches that nobody knew about, pastors that nobody knew about, but have been there, have been faithful, have been working in the trenches, have been praying, have been seeking God, and the touch of God is coming on your congregation. The touch of God is coming on your city. The touch of God is coming on your family. I saw mothers and single mothers that have been praying for years and, and struggling, and the power of God coming into your family, supernatural blessing, God taking up your family. I saw God healing. I see cancers falling off. I see the glory of the Lord descending in cities across this nation. I see the hunger for the Lord soaring. I just declare the blessing of the Lord over you. I declare the blessing. I declare you have eyes to see and you have ears to hear and you have a mouth that can prophesy the word of the Lord. Yes. Listen, you will begin to prophesy to your world, prophesy to your home, prophesy to your city. Get the word of the Lord and prophesy the word of the Lord. America, the glory of the Lord is descending on you. The glory of the Lord is descending on this nation. The glory of the Lord is descending on this nation. I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to pray. I thank you for these amazing women across this nation. Ladies, I want you to share this broadcast. I know it doesn't look very good, but I want you to share it. I want you to invite people in. I want you to invite people to pray with us. Prayer is what's going to change this nation. Prayer is what's going to turn the tide. We Listen, as long as there's breath in my lungs and a Bible in my hand and a heart to worship, there's an opportunity for God to work a miracle. I'm telling you, as long as we're alive, there's an opportunity for God to work a miracle. Yes. And God is getting ready to work some miracles in your life. He's working miracles in my life. He's working miracles in our cities. He's working miracles in our state. I plead the blood of Jesus over Washington, D.C. I ask yes. you to root out all evil. I ask you to root out anything that's not pleasing to you, Holy Spirit. I ask you to clean that place up, the Congress, the Senate. I, I plead the blood of Jesus around that city. I plead the blood of Jesus around Donald Donald Trump. I pray God blessings and protection on him and his family. I pray wisdom over his cabinet, God. I plead the blood of Jesus over every politician across this nation. Let the righteous ones be exalted. Let the unrighteous ones give them an opportunity to repent. If they don't repent, replace them. In the name of Jesus, God, I just declare, Lord, I just, I just see God. I see God giving them a time and a space to repent. And if they don't, re and, and if they repent, God's going to be merciful because we serve yes. a merciful God. Yes. But if they don't repent, he's going to replace them. The church is in a time and a space to repent. We're at, God's asking us to judge ourselves. If we repent, I'm telling you, the blessing of God is going to overtake us. We are going to see so much revival and blessing that's going to blow our mind. If we don't, then, then our sin will judge us. Sin judges us. Sin judges us. But I just declare in Jesus' name that every one of you and everybody you're connected to is going to repent. Every one of us, we're going to serve God with all of our hearts. We're going to lay our lives down for the gospel. We're going to pray morning and noon and night. We're going to see our children do great exploits. Yes. We're going to, I can't tell you the testimonies I'm getting. God's turning children around. Thank you. God, there are people that have, that have called me and messaged me and sowed seed into this prayer cast that said, Pastor Kelly, God turned my child around. God turned my family around. God turned my ma ma marriage around. God turned my everything. God is, God's blessing me financially. God is in it. 
God is in it. And you want to know why God's in it? Because prayer changes things. Yes. Because prayer is the rock that we build our Christian life on. It's the foundation of our Christian existence. And why do you think the enemy fights us so hard to keep us so busy? But we cannot do the work of God without consistent prayer, a consistent prayer life. This is the bedrock we build our life on. And I honor you for obeying God. I honor you for doing the right thing. I honor you for being women that will stand in the gap. We love you so much. We'll be in Mino, Oklahoma tonight. Tune in tonight. Share it. Invite people. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tonight. God bless. Bye-bye.